what's up guys hope you are doing well there and welcome to the channel seek show today i will be discussing adding wfs data to your qgis project there will be updated things to learn so let's get started but before that if you are interested in learning arcgis qgis remote sensing and all kind of educational stuff hit the subscribe button down there and click the bell icon so you will not miss anything I have discussed about all types of vector data in QGIS in my last tutorial number 4. If you haven't watched it, please click the link or the card in the upper right corner here, watch it first and then come back to this lesson. Another type of vector data is WFS or Web Feature Services. This is an open geospatial consortium interface that streams vector data from a service directly into your QGIS project or into your map. Using URL, you can pull that data right into your QGIS project. So let's set up first. Under your XYZ tiles here, you can find OpenStreetMap. Just drag and drop into your template and open a new project. So I am going to zoom into my interested area which is located here, it is the Hawaiian Islands. So I have zoomed into my interested area. Now I am opening my uh, website, interested website. This is your portal, Hawaiian government website. You can find the link in the description section here. Right, I am going to search for roads. I have already searched and hit enter you will get some results as you can see this is the first link roads moi county i'm going to open it in the new window right here under the apis uh, we are going to pick this wfs there are a number of uh, links here you can find wms which is raster wfs which is vector geoservices and geojson in this case, we are interested in this one, WFS, so you can control C and get copied the link and go back to your software, QGIS software. And here you will find WFS, right click on this one and open a new connection and give it a name. For now, I will name it as roads and paste the copied URL here and click OK, let's see what will happen. You can expand this one. I'm going to delete this for now. And you can see the roads uh, we, that we just added. I am interested in uh, Hawaii roads. I will drag and drop here. Right, it has been added and still it is being loaded from the server. It may take a while to fully load because this is a large area. As you can see, until this is uh, fully loaded, we may go back to our website, the Hawaii government website. I will search here contours and hit enter. There are a number of results here. Let me pick one. I will select this one. Kahulawe elevation contours, 100 feet. I am going to open it in, in a using a new link or new window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stream the vector layers from this website into my QGIS project under the APIs, same as last time. We are interested in WFS. Just select this one, control copy and go back to your software and right click on this WFS in the browser panel, open a new connection give it a name as uh, contours paste the url that copied from the website and hit ok you may find the contour has been added you have to expand this one to see the contours there are a number of contour layers vector files so i am interested in this uh, kahulawe just drag and drop this being loading the contours are somewhat a bigger file so it may take while to fully load i'm going to zoom into that uh, area this should load with the contours you can see it is being loading that means the vector layers 
the contours are streaming from the server right it, it is fully loaded with the contours if you want you can try this one too the lanai ct so i'm going to drag and drop this uh, lanai contours it is a much bigger area so definitely it should take more time to fully load let's see you can see that uh, it is being loading means that uh, the data is streaming from the server in the meantime i would like to tell you that if you want you can make some changes as an example if you want to change the colors you can change the colors by just uh, double clicking this one and here you can change the color i want to set it as red right hit ok apply okay you can see that hawaiian roads have been changed into this red color if you want you can do the same thing for this uh, kahula weekend tours double click and change into somewhat pink click ok apply and okay now you can see also i want to show you that if you right click on this hawaii roads you can get this uh, open attribute table just click on that it will take some time to load the attribute table because it is also streaming from the servers right this is the attribute table you can see the attributes here i will search for a particular street uh, i will select this one and click this one you can see zoom to the selected rows this is really amazing if you select and use this one this will take the zoom view this will gives you the zoomed view this is a really amazing feature in the qgia software okay right that is the end of the today's tutorial and i will be discussing more about types of raster data in qgis i have already discussed about the ecw data in qgis from my last videos you can find the link in the description section or you can go to my playlist let's learn qgis so i hope you have learned something new if yes please hit a like for this video and if you are interested in learning arcgis qgis remote sensing and all kind of educational stuff hit the subscribe button down there and click the bell icon so you will not miss anything i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye